So we did a couple of recent videos on penetrating fluids to determine which product was the best for removing rust. Now, in two different competitions, we found out that Seafoam was the best in one instance and Liquid Wrench won the other competition. In a future episode, we're going to have a showdown between those two products, but between now and then, we want to find out which of these products is the best for preventing rust. Most of these products do claim they prevent future rust from occurring, and rust is a problem when it comes to preventing bolts from seizing. So let's put these products to the test to determine which one is the best. We'll be using some 7 16 inch bolts today. The first thing I'm going to do is remove the protective coating on each of these bolts to make them very susceptible to rust. We're also going to see how effective these penetrating fluids are at preventing rust on this piece of flat iron. Most bolts have either a zinc or some type of galvanized coating on them. So what we're going to do is to go ahead and use some hydrochloric acid to remove the protective coating and they will be down to bare steel which will make these bolts very susceptible to rust. I'll be using muriatic acid today, which contains 31% hydrochloric acid. It's highly corrosive. Anytime you're working around chemicals that could potentially burn you, I highly recommend wearing some good rubber gloves. I got two layers of gloves on. Also, I highly recommend wearing a mask that has a filter on it to help reduce the chances of inhaling the vapors. Also, a well-ventilated area is important, as well as safety glasses. The acid has removed all the coating from each one of these bolts. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and remove the bolts, then apply the different spray penetrants pretty quickly before the rusting process begins. I just finished removing these bolts from the acid and rinsing them off with water. So these are free of acid, but they will begin rusting pretty quickly. As you can see, the bolt on the left has been washed in the acid. The one on the right has not and still has its protective coating. I'm going to spray each product into one of these cups, and then we're going to dip the bolts in the cup as well as apply some to this piece of metal. What we do now is put each one of these bolts inside each respective penetrating fluid, make sure they get thoroughly coated. We're also going to apply the penetrating fluid to the piece of metal. So I'm going to create a saltwater mix inside this spray bottle and I'm going to apply several coats of this saltwater spray on this metal. Also, the metal is in a vertical position to avoid the penetrating fluids cross-contaminating each other once the spraying begins. So I've applied five applications of the saltwater mix to this piece of metal over a course of two hours. I've since allowed this to dry. As you can see, there are some white speckles. This is the salt. So what I'm gonna do now is go down the line at each one of these, starting off with the control, take a look at how these products did. So starting off with the control, you can see there's quite a bit of surface rust after only five applications of the salt water mix. So if you're like me, when you use the penetrating fluid and you reassemble something, you don't want it to rust. Of course, you could use anti-seize, but another thought is if you're using a penetrating fluid, does that penetrating fluid help prevent future rust? Well, let's go down the line and see how each one of these penetrating fluids compare. Seafoam Deep Creep is a metal surface protector and a carbon and rust inhibitor. Seafoam Deep Creep did an incredible job. Very little rust occurred at the top, and some of this is my fault. There appears to be some washover from an untreated surface that's up top that, of course, caused a little bit of rusting at the top. But if you look at the main area that wouldn't have experienced any washover, there is absolutely no rust. It's very subjective, but on an A through F rating, I'd give Seafoam an A. Liquid Wrench does not claim that it prevents rust, but I thought we'd try it anyway just to see how it performs. Liquid Wrench is a very good penetrating fluid and won the first competition that we had. It did not compete against Seafoam. As you can see, there is quite a bit of rust formation. On an A through F scale, I would give it a C. CRC Knocker Loose lubricates and prevents rust. CRC Knocker Loose seems to have done better than Liquid Wrench, but then again, Liquid Wrench is not designed to prevent rust. I'd give CRC Knocker Loose a B on an A through F scale. BGN Force is an ion activated penetrating oil. It does not claim it removes or prevents rust. However, it did almost as good as CRC Knocker Loose, not quite as good. As you can see, there's more rust formation at the bottom. Also, the amount of rust, while it looks to be less, is actually a lot deeper into the metal. I'd give BGN Force a C as far as being a rust preventer. Fluid Film provides powerful rust and corrosion protection. 
As many of you commented in a recent video when I used fluid film, you said that it was a great fluid for preventing rust, and you are absolutely right. This is either going to win the competition or it'll be a close second. I can't see any sort of rust formation whatsoever, so this gets an A plus for sure. Fluid film claims to be a full up penetrating fluid. In fact, it says it penetrates to free up heavily seized parts. While we did not see that in the last competition, in fact, it did a very poor job. It is clearly very good at preventing rust. WD-40 Rust Specialist helps prevent rust and corrosion from reforming. WD-40 Rust Specialist did an okay job. I'd give this probably a B as far as being able to prevent rust. To me, it's very close to CRC knocker loose. Many have commented that DOT3 brake fluid will cause corrosion. Brake fluid is obviously highly corrosive. I would give this an F. It is far worse than even the control. So if you decide to use brake fluid to break a nut or bolt free, I highly recommend using some sort of a penetrant that's designed to prevent rust or some type of anti-seize product. Otherwise, you'll end up with a worse case than when you started. As you can see, there's a tremendous amount of corrosion. It's very deep within the steel. It really has caused a lot of damage. Royal Purple Max Film prevents rust and corrosion. While Royal Purple did not win the competition as far as a penetrating oil, it is definitely in the top three, probably in the top two for being a rust preventer. It did a tremendous job. There isn't any sort of rust formation that can be seen. It is a great product for preventing rust. Coral prevents rust and is harmless to metal. Coral did not do a very good job. At best, I would rate this a C. In fact, it's better than the control, but not by much. It's definitely better than brake fluid, but I would put this in the bottom two or three products that we've tested. PB Blaster protects against further rust and corrosion. This is Croil, this is PB Blaster. As you can see, PB Blaster definitely outperformed Croil. I'd give PB Blaster a B, but it's nowhere near as good as Royal Purple, Fluid Film, or Seafoam. WD-40 prevents rust on tractors and large equipment. WD-40 seems to have done better than PB Blaster. However, not nearly as good as several of the other products. I would give this probably a B plus comparing it to the other products out there. Definitely the control had a lot more rust. PB Blaster had more rust than WD-40 as well. Not a whole lot of rust along the bottom, but plenty of rust formation throughout. To determine how much protection these penetrating fluids provide, we're gonna do three different types of tests. The first test involves just dipping the bolt in water and then allowing it to dry off. The next test involves dipping the bolt in salt water. The final test involves using a hydrogen peroxide, vinegar, and salt water mix, which is a very corrosive mix and causes rust. So I have the rusting solution, the salt water mix, and just plain water added to each of these cups. What I'm gonna do now is go ahead and put a bolt in each one of these cups and allow it to soak for a little while. So all these bolts have dried. It's been approximately 12 hours since the test. Just to recap, we applied these bolts in each of the different types of solutions for a total of 10 minutes and then pulled them out and allowed them to dry. So the control is on the left and the product that we've tested, it will be on the right. This is the hydrogen peroxide vinegar and salt mix. As you can see, an unprotected bolt gets destroyed quickly. Sea foam did a tremendous job. There is a very small amount of rust on the head of the nut. But if you come over to the solution that just involved salt water, there is absolutely no rust on it whatsoever. So I would give it an A. As you can see, there was a quite a bit of rust in the control and not a whole lot of rust, relatively speaking, on liquid wrench. You can see there's very little rust on either one of the water or the salt water mix bolts that had liquid wrench on it. So liquid wrench actually does a decent job. To me, liquid wrench earns a B in this category. CRC Knocker Loose did a decent job. I would give it probably a C. As you can see, there was quite a bit of rust on the bolt exposed to the hydrogen peroxide vinegar and salt mix, but just a little bit of rust on the salt water mix as well as the water mix. While BG Enforce is not advertised to prevent rust, it actually didn't do too bad. There is quite a bit of rust on this bolt exposed to the hydrogen peroxide vinegar and salt mix, but very minimal rust on the salt water and water. So I would probably give this a C. XC Fluid Film did an excellent job by providing a protective coating around the bolts. There isn't any visible rust. I would give this product an A. As you can see, Deputy Rust Specialist did okay. There's quite a bit of rust on this bolt. On the bolt that just had the salt water, there is some rust formation starting. It's really not too bad. 
as well as a small amount of rust on the bolt that just was exposed to water. Debbie Rust Specialist didn't do too bad, but I would probably give it a C. As you can see, using brake fluid is actually worse than using nothing as far as corrosion prevention. It did quite a number on the bolt that was exposed to the hydrogen peroxide, vinegar, and salt mix. It almost seemed as though it had sped up the corrosion. Additionally, when you look at the bolt that was exposed to salt, it looks pretty much the same, and the bolt that was exposed to water looks slightly worse for brake fluid than the control. Royal Purple continued to excel in this type of testing as well. The exposure to the hydrogen peroxide, vinegar, and salt mix did not seem to phase this product. It provided superior rust protection. The exposure to salt water did not phase this product either, as well as water. This product earned a solid A. So the bolt that was exposed to Croil is not much better than the control. Also, looking at the bolt that was exposed to salt water, it looks about the same, maybe a slight bit more rust, and it did do better with the category of water than the control. I would give Coral an F. So PP Blaster definitely did not seem to beat the control as far as exposure to hydrogen peroxide, vinegar, and salt mix. However, PP Blaster did do better with salt water and water than the control. I would give this product a C. WD-40 did pretty good compared to the control. As you can see, the hydrogen peroxide, vinegar, and salt mix did have some rust on the threads and a little bit on the head of the bolt. On the bolt that just had the salt water, there is some rust formation starting. It's really not too bad, as well as a small amount of rust on the bolt that just was exposed to water. WD-40 actually did pretty good. I would give this product a solid B. I'm really, really surprised by the results. I honestly didn't think there would be that much difference between products. If you're like me, you probably haven't given it much thought. You use a penetrating fluid to loosen up a nut or a bolt. You remove the part, you put the nut and bolt back on, and afterwards, you just assume that it's probably not gonna rust as much as it would had you not used anything. I really think that Royal Purple and Fluid Film came out on top in a virtual tie, followed very closely by Seafoam. Now, from a previous video, Seafoam was by far a superior penetrating fluid than Fluid Film or Royal Purple, but that's just one factor to consider. WD-40 didn't do too bad. It is a good product, as well as CRC Knocker Loose. Now, while Liquid Wrench isn't designed to be a rust blocker, it actually did pretty good. Regarding PB Blaster and Croil, I really hope that they would do a better job. Those are products that are very popular with viewers, and I've used a lot of PB Blaster in my day as well. Regarding brake fluid, if you decide to use that product, I highly recommend removing any trace of brake fluid from the part you apply it to because it is also highly corrosive. Thank you so much for watching the video. I learn a lot from the comments you guys leave and your comments give me great future video ideas. So I hope you'll leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching the video and I look forward to seeing you next time.